Hello gamers, in this video, I will show you the best short games available to play that offer quality content in less than 5 hour of gameplay. Once you start playing, you can leave your seat after completing the game. So without wasting your time. Let's get started. The Swapper. The Swapper takes place in an isolated and atmospheric sci-fi world. Players wield an experimental device which allows them to create clones of themselves, swapping their entire consciousness into new bodies to overcome the challenges of the environment. Everything about this game is great. Beautiful visuals, intriguing storyline, and excellent puzzles that require novel and creative ways of thinking. The game will take about 5 hour to complete, and probably, the only negative would be that it's maybe a little short. Number 14. Pinstripe. The game aesthetically is just gorgeous and the story is so intriguing. Pinstripe is an emotionally charged adventure through hell, created entirely by a one-man team over the course of five years. Play as Teddy, an estranged ex-minister forced to venture through the frozen afterlife in search of his three-year-old daughter Bo and her perverse kidnapper. Discover the dark secrets of Teddy's past and confront his sleazy, demonic nemesis, Mr. Pinstripe. Number 13. Grow up. The gameplay is really simple and easily understandable. If you played the first game Grow Home, then this is exactly the same, except on a much bigger basis. This game is just pure joy in game form. Short, sweet, relaxing and weirdly euphoric. You are a little red robot and you live on this big spaceship called Mother. An accident occurs which blows up your whole ship. Your task is to explore the entirety of this whole planet and all the floating islands to find every bit of your ship and then take them all to the moon where you can rebuild your ship again. Number 12. The Stanley Parable. I will keep this short and sweet. Silly way to spend the afternoon. It's a very interesting and amusing game although very strange. The strange is really its charm with over 20 different endings. I find myself returning to find out what happens on that one branching path I missed last time, and same will happen to you. Number 11. Abzu. From the art director of Journey, Abzu is a beautiful underwater adventure that evokes the dream of diving. This game, although short, is mesmerizing. It's so pretty and relaxing, much more like a work of art than a game. It's amazing how it manages to walk you through its beautiful story with no use of dialogue whatsoever. Number 10. Super Hot. Super Hot is the first person shooter where time moves only when you move. No regenerating health bars. No conveniently placed ammo drops. It's just you, outnumbered and outgunned, grabbing weapons off fallen enemies to shoot, slice, and maneuver through a hurricane of slow motion bullets. This game was pretty cool. The main mechanic is a neat gimmick and carries it well for 4 to 5 hours. Number 9. Her Story. A short two and a half hour game about using your brain. Her Story is about someone who is looking through interrogation footage in order to solve a murder mystery. The player watches videos and enters keywords based on the context of those videos in order to find clues. Unique concept, well written and acted. A limited but quality experience. Number 8. Limbo. Mysterious and dark, it constantly intrigues you to get even more immersed in the game. Immensely fun puzzle platformer with a great mood and amazing soundtrack, atmosphere, setting that rarely feels frustrating. Shifts things in a perfectly balanced way as you play throughout. Number 7. Metal Gear Solid 5 Ground Zeroes. The game has a brief narrative, but its short length is bolstered by flexible side missions and exceptional replayability. From stealth missions to explode things, and nearly all mission on the game can be played differently every time, if the player wants to. There is quite a lot to do if you like to explore every nook and cranny of a game, there are many details, references and additional content other than the main campaign. Number 6. Gone Home. This game touches on a lot of emotions and is riddled with extreme nostalgia. At times it was like I was in high school again, and at others I was brought to tears. The atmosphere was very well done, and characterization was very clear in the small details around the house. If you're into interactive story games, definitely pick this up. 
Number 5. Brothers A Tale of Two Sons. A great emotional story, interesting gameplay mechanics, and amazing intuitive storytelling. Enter the stunning and immersive world of Brothers A Tale of Two Sons as you guide two brothers on an epic fairy tale journey as they search for a cure for their ailing father. This game will take you through amazing areas as you use your wits and the unique game control system to progress the story and experience a tale like no other. Number 4. 80 Days. It's a fun little adventure. As your mileage may vary on replay value. The story of going through Canada and finding a floating city of indigenous rebels is cool. The whole thing makes you feel like you're finding your own adventures in a really rad way. The characters and locations all have a lot of personality that will make you love the game. Number 3. Firewatch. One of the best storytelling I've encountered so far in gaming. Firewatch is a single-player first-person mystery set in the Wyoming wilderness, where your only emotional lifeline is the person on the other end of a handheld radio. An interesting game if you are looking for a cinematic story experience, then this is definitely for you. Number 2. Inside. A short but depressingly sweet game about a boy and his will to reach a certain destination. Beautiful dark, misty and shadowy atmosphere. The story is told perfectly with visuals only. Fun puzzles and spooky moments. One of the best short games ever created. Muted colors and dark lighting perfectly set the tone, and the lack of any HUD makes it perfect. Number 1. Portal. One of the greatest games of all time in any genre. I guess if you have a PC, you have played this game already. If not, it's not only a classic now, but a must-play no matter which year you are in. It's a timeless game that does very well giving you a consciousness about space and physics in a virtual world. The campaign goes by very smoothly, but it's not an easy game or a particularly hard game, the answers are not always obvious, your brain will work a bit in a natural way, and you'll feel rewarded for it. Thanks for watching the video. And if you find the video helpful, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe.